when it comes to diffusion and lighting and lighting our subjects and lighting objects in our videos parabolic soft boxes do come into play and when you're looking on the market on amazon and other places like that you're going to see a lot of different soft boxes to choose from in today's video i'm comparing small rigs rad 55 against their rad 85 to see the differences between these two soft boxes and which of these soft boxes might be the better choice for you so let me know down in the comments what softbox you're working with with your setup right now. Are you using a small rig softbox or are you using a, another competitor softbox? Let's talk about it down in the comments and let's spark up some conversations down there. So to start out, let's talk about some of the things that are the same with these softboxes. They both come in carrying cases which help to transport it to and from as well as to keep it safe and keep it looking good. They both have 16 durable umbrella ribs to help keep it formed and to help keep it lasting in good shape. Included with each of these soft boxes is a 45 degree angle grid. They both offer two layers of diffusion inside the soft box as well. And there's multiple uses for these soft boxes such as photography, not just video. One of the key features with these soft boxes that sets them apart from other competitors is their quick release feature that allows you to set up and take down these easily from job site to job site. Typically with older standard style soft boxes, this was something that had to be done manually each time and it was time consuming and a little bit of a tedious task. That was one of the main key reasons why I went ahead with the purchase of the small rigs uh, RAD85. Having that softbox for a little bit uh, made me want to purchase the RAD55 as well, just to have it in, so I could use it in smaller spaces, as well as to get another source of diffusion when lighting subjects and objects. Now we're going to talk about some of the differences between these two softboxes. Both of these softboxes will give you a soft light, just the bigger softbox, the RAD85 is going to give you a little bit more of a softer light and this is because the diffusion is placed a little bit further away from the light and this is going to help to give a softer source of light and what i mean by this is it's going to help the light they like they say the light wraps around the subject more smoothly you'll get that with the rad 55 as well it's just because the diffusion is closer to the light you're not going to get such a soft source. Another key difference between these two soft boxes is going to be the size of the soft boxes. The 85 centimeter soft box is approximately three feet in diameter, and the 55 centimeter soft box is just around two feet. So, depending on the space that you're creating in, might dictate the size of the softbox that you're going to want to use. If you're interested in finding out more about the full features of the RAD85, I've done a comparison video where I place it against the Godox 80 centimeter parabolic softbox to see the differences between those two softboxes. You could check out that video by clicking this link here or checking the link in the description as well. I made this video just in case you're looking at these two softboxes and you're wondering which softbox you should get or if you're wondering if you should get both of them. They do make a pretty good team paired together when you're creating content. A lot of times I like to use the RAD85 as the main key light and then I use the RAD55 as a kicker light or light from the back to help give some separation and to use it as a fill light as well. That's going to wrap up this comparison video on Small Rigs RAD55 and the RAD85. If you're interested in learning more about Diffusion, you could check out this playlist right here, or you can check out this one for a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.